Hey guys, this is Touch Expert, and today what I will be showing you is how you can make an easy and fast intro using Core Motion Studio 3D. So let me just go ahead and open that up and start this tutorial. So now, what you want to do is first add a text. So click the T all the way over here and type in anything you want. So I'm just going to type in Touch Expert here. Click OK. Sorry about that, guys. Messed up. Click OK. So now you can uh, turn this around and see if you like it or not. I'm just going to undo this here. Now you can also change the color by going down here and choosing the color. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and change the background as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and change the color. And I'm going to make it a little bit mm, much in black, I guess. And I'm going to choose a gradient by going up to my background and choosing the image. Now I'm going to go ahead and click, there you go. And now what you want to do is, what I want is a cool effect on here that basically you just zoom in, or it will be zooming in the camera while it's doing a 360, something like this, as you can see there. Now let me just go ahead and undo this. Now what you want to do is first go ahead and click your orientation here. Um, so, um, for example, I want to be a 40, a 4 second video, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and choose right here 120. There you go. Now what you want to do is, um, in the 30, right here, go ahead and make a bar right there. Now go ahead and go on to the Y axis, which is up here. Right here. Right here, guys. And you want to change it to 90. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 90, click apply, and as you can see here, it changed. Now go on to the 60. Sorry, 60 there. And I'll change it to 180. 180, and it will change again. So there you go. I go on to 190, and so on. And so I'm going to go here, 70, I believe. And now go back to 120, and choose 360. There you go. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and go into the camera below down here. And you can either make it from the view on the back, um, sides, or anything. But I'm just going to leave it ahead and go out to the front. Now I'm going to choose the distance and make it all the way back here. Now there you go. Now if I go back to the video and click play, it will do something like that. But I do not want that, so I just want it all the way back like that. Or all the way in, sorry. So go ahead and click play. As you can see there, it is going back. Pretty neat video, I guess. So now, um, what you want to do is go on to the what was it at? Um. Oh yeah. Now you can go ahead and choose your effects by going down here onto global effects. You're double clicking that. Now you can either choose a fire option. There's some. There's basically a lot of effects that you can do here: glow, lightning, motion blur. Um. Let me see. I'm just gonna go ahead and put. Um, I like old beer. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one right here. Double click that one and click play. So you can see there it is having a little bright on the side there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one there. It's pretty neat, I guess. So I will be making more videos on more advanced intros and all that kind of stuff for right now. I'm just starting off with a basic one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to file. And right here, what you wanna do, you can um do all these kinds of effects here. So you can do import graphics, import 3D model, and to save it you can create a video file or create 3D video file, image or animation. I'm gonna go ahead and choose um, create video file. Go ahead and double click that. Um, I'm gonna save this into I'm gonna save it into my desktop and name it Touch Expert Logo. Click save and as you can see here it will be measuring the time and all that kind of stuff and it will take longer or mm, not that long depending on how long you make the intro so it's gonna be as you can see there it is 3, 30 seconds right now but it will be changing depending on again the time so you see almost done there it will be showing you in slow motion the video there let's go ahead and wait a little bit more
and there you go. Now I can go ahead and X or minimize here for real right now. Go on to my documents here and click on oh sorry I forgot I saved it into my desktop and here it is right here touch expert logo so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up double click that and it will be showing you right here and there you go pretty awesome don't you think well uh you can go ahead and comment uh, for any video suggestions or any questions below like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to learn more tutorials so go check it out. This is Touch Expert signing out.